Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 11 on the Kubernetes certified or certified Kubernetes administrator killer.sh exam simulator. This is the question number 11 and we'll use this uh, command to switch the context. The question says, use the namespace project-tiger for the following. Create a daemon set named ds-important with image httpd colon 2.4-outpoint and labels id equals ds-important and uuid equals some random quid value. The pods it creates should um, request 10 millicore CPU and 10 megabyte memory. Uh, the pods of the daemon set should run on all nodes, master and worker. So by default, if you create a daemon set, it, uh, the purpose of the daemon set is you, should, you know, to create uh, pods that run uh, at least uh, one uh, pod on each nodes in the cluster. So that's the that's a, a challenge that the daemon set solves. So, so we don't have uh, the traditional kubectl uh, create daemon set command. So even if you try, it would give an error message because it cannot understand um, what is daemon set at the moment. Uh, so um, you can approach this problem in two ways. One is that you can use the kubectl um, create deployment and pass in all the specifications as per the question, um, whichever you can, and then uh, print the YAML file and make changes to the YAML file. Uh, uh, and uh, you have to replace the kind deployment to daemon set. You have to add and remove uh, certain parameters. Uh, so that would be a little cumbersome and um, prone to error. So it's better to use the Kubernetes documentation for daemon set and use the manifest from there. Uh, we have the statements at Kubernetes documentation. So let's search for daemon set. We have it here. Um, yeah. Let us copy this manifest. Um, we don't need volumes or volume mounts because these are not part of our question. We'll copy until this uh, resource uh, request section. Let's go back to the terminal and let's create a new file. Um, CA11.yaml. Uh, let's paste the manifest what we copied. Let's start the file from the top. Um, so the name of the daemon set um, is or should be ds-important and the namespace where we are trying to deploy this daemon set is in project tiger uh, labels um, there is a requirement for labels as well so we will copy the labels given in the question um, so the labels if we are providing the labels in the manifest yaml manifest we have to substitute it with um, colon instead of uh, equal to sign uh, let's remove those that we copied from the documentation and under the spec selector this is a smash label so let us copy these labels we need this for uh, down here um, we'll paste this let's uh, adjust it and we don't need this one but let's keep it so that it will help us 
uh, to indented. And then let's remove the unwanted labels. Suspect says this, uh, this is the container spec. So this says tolerations. So for daemon set, it does have um, this specification, this toleration, basically, uh, as, as discussed before, um, the challenge that the daemon set solves is basically it deploys, uh, it makes sure uh, at least one pod is running um, on each, uh, each of the nodes in the cluster. So, so this section basically takes care of that. So it says even, even schedule the pod on the master as well as the control plane components. Um, and then coming to the container section. So the container name is not given, so it doesn't matter, but it's better to say, uh, give the same name as the daemon set. And the image that we use here is ds dash, sorry, uh, httpd colon 2.4 dash alpine. Um, so, so there is no need for the limits here. So it just says request in the question and it says 10 millicore CPU um and 10 maybe byte memory so that's all that's all the manifest test um let us check if there is a daemon set uh, running in the project tiger namespace nothing uh let's also substitute with the void nothing let's now create the uh, daemon set. It says it is created. Let's see. Uh, so it's currently running three decide. And the current is also three and all of them looks good. Um, Let's uh, check the number of nodes. Could we get nodes? So we have three nodes, um, one master and two worker nodes. So Damon said, see here we have not uh, specified the replicas. So the Damon set figured out uh, that it has to schedule a pod on each node. So that's that's how the number three uh, is derived. Uh, Let's say we'll get daemon sets all um, in the namespace project uh, tiger. Yeah, it's running. So if we get pods. Um, until it won't it won't get less listed in parts, but yeah. So this one clearly gives an option that we have three daemon sets running. So um, that's all for this question, and thank you for watching.